On a Food, Environment, and Health channel, we are talking about nutrition and lifestyle for fertility. In the next few minutes, we will reveal how common habits, dietary patterns, and environmental exposures can either obstruct or facilitate the journey to conception, offering grounded advice for those looking to foster an environment conducive to conception. In addition to aging, numerous factors associated with lifestyle, such as smoking, Regular or excessive intake of caffeine and alcohol. Marijuana use. Anabolic steroids. Stress. Chronic exposure to environmental pollutants. Lack of physical activity. And insufficient sleep negatively affect the fertility of both men and women. Certainly, diet is not the only factor influencing fertility, but it is significant. In the next few minutes, I will explain what it is essential to change in terms of diet to eliminate the possibility that it is the cause of conception difficulties. It is estimated that around 50 million couples worldwide are trying to solve conception problems. Firstly, metabolic disorders, including insulin resistance, diabetes, obesity, and hyperlipidemia which are usually associated with caloric diet, affect women's fertility either by directly damaging health and disrupting ovarian function or indirectly interfering with the pituitary hypothalamus axis. In individuals with insulin resistance, there is a reduced tissue sensitivity to insulin, which affects constantly high insulin in the blood, followed by the development of polycystic ovaries, today registered in more than 20% of women in the reproductive period. Polycystic ovaries are diagnosed based on the morphological characteristics of the ovaries, which contain at least 12 cysts measuring 2 to 9 mm in diameter, and also imply the absence or irregularity of ovulation and certain hormonal, specifically androgenic, effects. It is assumed that insulin effects increase testosterone secretion through receptors on the ovaries and through an enhanced ovarian response to the luteinizing hormone. In women, obesity affects extended conception time and a higher frequency of miscarriages. In men, obesity affects the hypothalamus pituitary axis, increased testicular temperature, worsening sperm quality, and erectile dysfunction. Smoking significantly affects the reproductive health of both men and women, albeit in different ways. Considering the amount of accumulated egg cells, fertilization rates, pregnancy, and pregnancy loss, one extensive study showed that smoking significantly impairs the quality of sex cells in both sexes. Namely, in women, smoking is associated with a rapid decline in ovarian reserves, delayed conception, and increased risk of spontaneous abortion, as well as a lower success rate of artificial fertilization, while in male smokers, the percentage of morphologically normal and mobile sperm is significantly reduced. Testicular heating can affect the quality of seminal fluid in men, so it is necessary to avoid keeping a mobile phone in the pocket, sauna, and hot baths, as well as excessive tightening of the testicles. High caffeine intake can result in a longer conception time and increased risk of pregnancy loss. It is especially necessary to reduce caffeine intake in the first three months because it crosses the placental barrier, affects the brain in formation, and increases the chance of spontaneous miscarriage. Regarding environmental pollutants, the American Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, assumes that the worst impact comes from prolonged exposure to additives added to plastic, bisphenol A and phthalates, polychlorinated biphenyls, heavy metals, aromatic amines, and organochlorine pesticides. Therefore, I would recommend avoiding plastic packaging, especially for fatty, hot, or alcoholic beverages. When it comes to meat, veganism and Western diet involving carbonated sweet beverages and many processed products equally detrimentally affect male fertility. The reason is that both diets are deficient in nutrients crucial for fertility, which affect the creation, maturation, and function of sperm, so in these cases, supplementation with vitamin C, zinc, and selenium, folic acid, and vitamin B12 has proven very useful. A recent study showed that the sperm composition of infertile and fertile men differs in the content of zinc, magnesium, calcium, copper, and selenium. On the other hand, 
when it comes to oxidative stress as a factor of egg cell maturation, an appropriate intake of antioxidants can reduce the concentration of free radicals, resulting in the protection of oocyte maturation. From supplements, there seems to be some evidence for N-acetylcysteine, lycopene, L-carnitine, and coenzyme Q10 as types of antioxidants. Taking vitamin C reduced the negative effects of sleeplessness on male fertility parameters, albeit in rats, but humans can also try. However, in a study that dealt with the analysis of supplements for male infertility, it turned out that half of the 24 supplements for male fertility had no expected effect. Moreover, the supplements contained a total of 36 substances, of which 18 have no evidence in the literature, and 21 out of 24 supplements had ingredients in concentrations below the minimum effective dose. In other words, if you take them, take supplements from reliable manufacturers that contain the above-mentioned substances, N-acetylcysteine, lycopene, L-carnitine, and coenzyme Q10. While there are conflicting opinions about alcohol intake today, the intake of saturated fats, trans fats, and large amounts of simple sugars has been confirmed as harmful to fertility. The fact for sugar intake was confirmed in a study conducted on 18,500 women over eight years. On the other hand, in men, the intake of trans fatty acids was proportional to the reduction in the number of sperm so avoiding margarine and all sweets containing it is of crucial importance for men. To summarize the research findings. Consume food that does not rapidly raise blood sugar, with plenty of plant fibers. Regulate obesity because the treatment of obesity and a diet that will result in reduced insulin secretion is an effective, non-pharmacological treatment for solving conception problems and it has been shown that a diet rich in fish, legumes, and non-starchy vegetables, as well as supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids, increases by 40% the chances of conception in people who previously had a problem. Avoid puff pastry, fried products, and store-bought cakes, and when it comes to fats, flax seeds, bluefish, nuts, and avocado represent sources of good fats that are important for fertility. Do not overdo the intake of animal products, but use supplements of zinc and B12 if you have been on a vegan diet for a long time. Of foods that are rich in antioxidants, we can recommend garlic as one of the foods that might drive potential partners away, but positively affects fertility. Another option is the intake of vitamin C through natural sources or through the smallest possible daily doses, for example, candies. Avoid plastic packaging, coffee, and cigarettes. And know that, when you give birth to a child, you have finished the easier part of the job. Thank you for your attention. If you liked this video, please click like, share, and subscribe buttons.